Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Jupiter, the demon hybrid. He's from the village hidden in the stink. We've talked about him two times before and I think I'm going to give you guys an update for a third time. But if you haven't seen one of those two videos, you're not going to understand anything I'm talking about in today's video. Jupiter is a person who preyed upon multiple children. He blew up very, very popular for a while, mid-2023 of last year. He was the talk of the town. People knew Jupiter, the demon hybrid, and people knew not to mess with him. And to make things even worse, he liked My Little Pony, and his wife was a My Little Pony plushie named Shira Tora. Now, I'm going to show you guys a Snapchat that he sent to an underage girl named Maya, I believe. And this will give you a little bit of an example of what we're dealing with with to refresh your memory from the past two videos I uploaded months ago. Nyla, check this out. Oh. I love you, and I know you want me. I know you want it bad from me. So as you can see, we're dealing with a heavy hitter here as per usual. But thankfully, there's been one person keeping up on Jupiter more than anybody else has. Linda Binda. The one person who initially exposed this creep was Linda Binda, and she's been following his trail ever since. Still talking to him, but things have led down a dark and windy route, as you could predict with Jupiter here. And things ended quite badly from where they are. I'm going to update you on what's been happening with Jupiter recently and what has been happening with him in the past like two months now for the very first thing that we're going to be talking about today this happened shortly after my last jupiter video i made jupiter's own biological sister came out and did an interview with linda benda they talked about a lot of things i'm going to show you guys a few clips from that interview it is around 50 minutes long but i'm going to show you maybe about four or five minutes worth of clips here because i don't want to fully drag it out if you would like to see the full interview i will link it in the description below in the interview, many things were talked about and many things were discussed, as well as the fact that Jupiter has been a massive hindrance and creep for a very long time. There's a lot of things that were talked about, and I'm going to try to explain some of them briefly and then show you guys some clips. But the few major things that I do want to point out is that Jupiter's sister here says that Jupiter has been coddled by their mother their entire life. Any bad thing that Jupiter did was swept under the rug and it didn't matter what it was all the way from literal assault and trying to kill somebody to much nastier, nastier things. Anything about it was completely swept under the rug and it was never really dealt with properly leading Jupiter to completely just continue acting like a massive, massive psychopath. Now, this very first clip of the interview that I'm going to be showing you here is rather disturbing, so viewer discretion is advised, and, you know, the question that Linda asks as soon as the clip I'm going to show you starts is pretty self-explanatory, so here's the clip. Were there any times where Corbin acted sexual towards you specifically? You mentioned once where you had just taken a shower and he would watch you yeah. after. Corbin was sitting at the table. I peeked out of the door and I was like, Mom, could you get Corbin to leave the kitchen for a minute? My mom's like, and my mom just goes, Corbin, don't look. And she goes, okay, you're clear. So I had forgotten my clothes in my room. I had a towel, so I was covered. I ran from the bathroom to my room and he just watched me. I came out and I'm like, mom told you not to look. What happened to that instruction? And he goes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. It happened again multiple times. And then there was one point in time where I'm just like, Corbin, if you don't leave the kitchen, when I get dressed, I'm going to come and do something about it. You felt his watchful eyes, you know, gazing upon you every time. Do you feel like, like looking back on that time and that was the time he started touching you and groping you right yeah around yeah do you think that he was sexually attracted to you 
I just think he wanted to push and see how far and how much he could get away with. You mentioned before that he threatened to end your life a lot. Oh, yeah. All the time. All the time. Like, and it would be something as simple as singing a song or humming to myself. Or we'd be in the car and say I was finishing a level on a game that he wanted to play. And I didn't give it to him right away. Or... We didn't, me and my sisters didn't choose the movie he wanted to watch. Like, it was constant. And then all my mom would be like, "Is Corbin, don't talk like that. You shouldn't say stuff like that. What are some of the things that he would threaten you with? Strangling us with the seatbelts. Strangling us in general. He threatened us with kitchen knives. More specifically me. He threatened to throw me through a window and use the broken glass to slit my throat. We had these long garden shears. He threatened to cut mine and my sister's throats open with them. He threatened to light me on fire. That was a new one. Creative. Threatened to drown me, attempted to drown me. Threatened to use like apron strings. So he, he basically treated you like an object. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. So, obviously the Jupiter lore here has gotten worse and worse. It has slowly aged like milk like all of us thought it would, and the more that comes out about Jupiter, the more nasty things we learn. So, there's going to be another clip that I'm going to be showing you here about the time when they were much older than when they were children, and Jupiter still goes ahead and assaults them physically. I truly do think it's absolutely insane that this Jupiter lore has progressed from this deranged man on a TikTok in a TikTok live just being absolutely goofy and silly, claiming to have extraterrestrial powers and that he's a demon wolf hybrid and that he fornicates with stuffed animals and all these very wacky, wacky things down to him being a child predator, down to his very own biological sister coming out with her own story and telling the world about him and how dangerous he is to him losing all of his internet access and slowly scraping trying to find his way back by sitting at public libraries for hours to scur through the internet. Now I'm going to show you one more clip from that interview. Now there's a lot of things to take away from that interview between Linda and Jupiter's sister. I would love to do a full deep dive into it, but realistically all the credit for that just goes down right to Linda Binda. She did everything, she conducted the interview, so I'm not going to sit here and talk about every single thing. If you guys do want to see this entire interview, which I extremely suggest you go ahead and check it out, I will leave the link in the description below. Now this clip, uh, for a little bit of background here, basically when they're much older, the very last time that Jupiter ever tried to physically hurt her or her sister was when they were in a car and Jupiter basically tried to strangle them with a seatbelt. Here's the clip. We planned to go out to eat for my birthday and Corbin lived the furthest, so dad picked him up, brought him to the house, got me and one sister. And then we were off to get my oldest sister. The car broke down because it ran out of gas. My oldest, oldest brother um, came with some gas and my dad stepped out. My sister and I that were in the car decided to idle ourselves, like, you know, like entertain ourselves while we're being idle. So we started singing songs that we liked and Corbin didn't like that, so he told us to stop or he'd hurt us. And we didn't, we told dad, because dad had opened the door to grab something. We're like, dad, he's threatening us again. He's like, oh, just ignore him. He doesn't mean anything by it. He doesn't understand what he's saying. He doesn't understand what he's doing. I'm like, no, dad. He legit will hurt us. We decided to continue with what we were doing, because, you know, that's what our dad told us to do. And Corbin grabbed the seatbelt. I was in the front seat and he pulled it tight so I couldn't move it, strangling me basically. And so I took off my shoe and I hit him with it. And he then turned to CR and said that he was going to strangle her next. And I told him if he so much as laid a finger on her, 
my high heel shoe that I had in my hand was going to go into his skull. Yeah, some pretty dark and harsh stuff here. Um, Jupiter's obviously been a threat to anybody around him for a very long time, and his mother coddling him has not helped one bit at all. Now, the next clip I'm going to be showing you here is rather long. It's Linda Binda and Jupiter, the demon wolf hybrid, talking to each other again for the very first time in a long while. Jupiter has had his internet access blockaded for quite some time now, so he has to go to public places like libraries or McDonald's to even, you know, go about talking to anybody or making any types of videos. So this is the first time that they were on a video call in quite some time while Jupiter was at a public library. It's very odd, but here's the clip. But at, at the on but anyway, what happened on social media was a total disaster. My content was never supposed to be like that. That's not what my TikTok channel was for. And suddenly I became a bad guy. I became the villain. No, I became the freaking villain. Yeah. I never wanted it to do this. I never wanted to come down to it. Suddenly you make one mistake on social media and everyone brands you a child predator or a pervert or some other bullshit. Um, so, yeah. so what do you have to say to like the, what do you think about people calling you like a child, you know, you know the word. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, all I have to say is I may be many things, but a child predator, not one of them. Well, that's downright wrong and nothing but a, you know, massive lie. You have quite literally, by the way, Jupiter said sorry for being a pedo like you have made an entire video you had your very own anime monologue about why you were one and you're sorry that you were you said it was wrong and that you made a you know lapse in your judgment you had a very long like minute and 20 second apology for the fact that you were one so that's just a downright lie let's continue um you asked me if I still loved you earlier, right? Yes. Do you still love me? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, after everything I've been through, you are the only one who's stuck by me. I understand it hurt. And I was trying so hard to keep things under wraps, but at the same time, I wasn't entirely sober at the time. You weren't sober? I was sober at the moment. Yeah, I wasn't sober. I was mostly high on nicotine or drunk half the time. I'm sorry. I, I truly do hate to interrupt the video when I'm that I'm trying to show you so much, but I, I gotta say something here. If you're gonna blame the fact that you've been trying to get with multiple kids on the fact that you've been high off nicotine, that is absolutely insane. That is the most absurd excuse I've ever heard in my entire life. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to that that, that 13 year old girl, guys. Come, come on now. I, I hit the vape. Uh, come on. That wasn't me. Like, that is the most insane shit I've ever heard in my entire life to blame something like that on nicotine. But now that I'm back to just this, I can finally start living my life perfectly, you know? Yeah. I mean, I've been through a lot of hell lately. Do you have any more questions for me now to chance to ask? Um, why do you want to return to TikTok? Well, after everything I've been through, you should know that I'm too stubborn to give up. I'm way too stubborn. It's a quality I share with my father and all my other brothers. I share a quality with them. We're stubborn, we're stubborn as can be. Can you guess how I feel about you returning to TikTok? Of course, you can tell me. Um, I don't know if it's the best idea for you right now because there's a lot of people on the app that you know don't want yeah don't that don't want you there yeah i know that's why i created several different accounts so i couldn't be traced okay and malaforce is just another one 
Okay. And so you only have Wi-Fi when you go to public Wi-Fi places? Yeah, I have to go to public places to get free Wi-Fi. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to talk to people here. Jupiter, do you, here, here's, here's something. Do you promise, promise me, promise your mother, promise your father, promise everybody in the whole world that you will not ever talk to another minor? Do what I did again? Yes. I promise that I wouldn't and I'm going to keep that. And what's the consequence if you, if you do talk to another minor? I already made my choice. That was a choice I made because I wasn't sober and I wasn't in control now that I'm in full control, I can safely state that it will never happen again. Okay. Never again will I let those things happen. And I made a promise I would. And that's the end of it. I don't care what happens to me, but I only care about what happens to those around me. If it happens, you know what? I want to believe you. I do. But you've said this multiple times and it still happened. But I'll tell you this. If it happens again, Jupiter, I will do everything in my power to get you to take accountability for your actions. And I am taking accountability. What I did was wrong. I realized. Sure, I made a, I made a few my, I made a few mistakes. I've made my fair share. I'm not perfect. I know it's things. But I can promise you that if a sinner can promise you that he will never sin again, you can't believe him. But if a true man were to apologize for his actions and take accountability and show you that he loves you, that's when you know that he does. That's good wisdom. Now, that entire massive five minute long clip I just showed you there, that was a doozy to say the least. But this next clip I'm going to be showing you is when Jupiter actually realizes that Linda did an interview with his sister. This takes place after the last clip I showed you, but he didn't know until this clip. Now, Jupiter in this clip I'm going to be showing you does bring up the fact that Linda did interview his sister, and he's not very happy about that at all. He even goes as far to say, you're opening up a whole nother can of worms. Eventually, Linda's able to trick Jupiter by saying that she only did it because Anonymous made her do it. Now, like I said before, if you haven't watched my other videos, you won't understand what this means at all, but Jupiter and the hacking group Anonymous have had beef for a very long time. Now, I don't actually think it's the Anonymous, I just think it's people posing as them, messing with them, and he gets real mad. He hates Anonymous. You know, that's his number one enemy. Said you still had feelings for me. I was like, thanks, but right now, and sent those videos, including what you did with my little sister, mind you, you were digging, you were opening a whole can of worms. And I was upset that you would do something like that behind my back without clarifying if it's okay with me first. And then when you posted me in a negative light, what the hell is that about? I know, Jupiter, we've already had this conversation. I said I was sorry. I know, but I'm just letting you know that I'm still upset, even though you said you're sorry, I'm still upset with you. If Zena's okay with me being like your part-time like boyfriend or whatever, I don't mind if Zena is on board, which would be okay, and no one would care what happened to your body at this point. But people who say, oh, you're an asshole, you're a fucking pedophile. Dude, I fucking live in Idaho. I lived in Idaho my whole life, which means I know where to hide a body. There are places I can hide a body, and no one would even think to look there. There are places out here in Idaho that I can hide a body. It's a small town called Nova. Ever heard of it? Could just dump a body out in the forest or bury a body out in the 
know what? I I got to okay it. Meaning, I know all the places to jump a body. <laughs> so to speak. So obviously Jupiter seeing more and more clips of Linda, he's starting to slowly and slowly and slowly understand that really nobody is on his side, especially after he went through the entire, you know, Ryoma Sukuna monologue about how he could hide a body because he lives in Idaho. This isn't the first time he's claimed this. He's claimed multiple times that his enemies should be very scared of him because he lives in Idaho and he knows exactly where to hide a body. So he, he does this thing that really tries to make him seem very strong and powerful in that you should be completely fearful of him due to the fact that he has a massive IQ and knows a place where nobody would find you. I'm still, myself personally, a little bit shocked and bewildered that this has lasted as long as it has with this many public statements online, and I'm very surprised that this has gone on for as long as it has. I expected Jupiter to be a one-and-done thing. He got his 30 minutes of fame, and then he was immediately pushed to the side after many people started to talk about him, including myself and many others, but that obviously wasn't the case. He's very stubborn, and he, you know, has even said before in, like, the clips I showed you that he is going to come back. Nothing's going to stop him from coming back because he's stubborn and he wants to prove everybody wrong. So I don't think that we're going to be getting rid of Jupiter anytime soon. He's an anomaly, like... Chris Chan is, or Daniel Larson is, it's the never-ending gift that, you know, sadly keeps on giving. I think Jupiter will be around for a very long time unless he's properly put away, but I also don't see that happening either. Now, this next clip I'm going to be showing you, though, is Jupiter's message to Linda Benda. This was also cut down. It was an 8-10 to 10 minute long rant that I'm going to show you guys 3 minutes of. Jupiter's not happy. He's declared war and he is done. He is going to put his foot down here and him and Linda Benda are over. Jupiter is fed up and has had enough. You bitch. So get ready for this crazy meth hep addict is what you think I am or a child predator. I am. Get ready for war, bitch. I'm a Mandalorian. I may not show it, but in spirit I am. This is the way. I know this shouldn't be my main focus at all, and this shouldn't be anything that I really even care enough to comment about, but I do, so here's my comment. But, um, he is not a Mandalorian. Um, he doesn't, you know display anything of what Star Wars is like, and I hope that doesn't get construed here, because The Mandalorian's a great show. Underflow recommends. Don't, you know, associate it with Stinky Greasy Jr. over here, though. That I always do things. Sure, I might look crazy with my hair right now, but I don't care. You shouldn't talk shit. Shouldn't be talking shit to people like me. Otherwise... Pay the price. Pay to play, bitch. Screw you and your entire crew. You honestly think I give a damn? Not anymore, bitch. So come at me with all the ferocity you got. The square pyre is done playing games. I have people watching you. You honestly think that I wouldn't have people watching your ass right now you honestly think i wasn't watching that i didn't know what you were attempting to do playing insurgent please i put down what rebellions worse than you oh and uh linda just because i don't post often doesn't mean i'm not watching you see People like you often victimize people like me. Make us look like idiots. Well, in this day and age, that might have gotten away. But I'm done. Everyone will see you for the fraud you really are. This was my escape from my realities. I am done playing your game. But twice before angering someone who has friends in high places. I have some good friends in pretty high places. 
I'm done being your victim. So you honestly think I give a shit what happens to you after this? This is all I got to say to you, Linda Binda. It's over. You've lost. Give up your cronies, whoever might be still out there working for Anonymous like you. Give up your cronies. And if you try to make a power play or make a move to restart the group, Homeland Security agents are posted outside your residence, ready to put you down. This isn't a threat. It's the truth. So go ahead. Make my... Th because I know people out there would rather see me burn. So yeah, for those of you asking for an update on the Jupiter lore at the moment, this is kind of everything summed up into a shorter video. Jupiter's had enough in that last clip, as you can see. He's putting his foot down. He's ready to rumble. He has Homeland Security at her front door, and he's ready to strike. You know, very scary stuff. Side note, what do we think Jupiter's room smells like? Me personally, sweet and sour sauce and onions. Anyway... Jupiter's obviously going down a very dark and windy path, slowly but surely, and he's not going to give up. He's going to continuously come back no matter how many times he gets knocked down, and he's not going to stop. I'm still rather shocked that Jupiter is still around and doing stuff, and the fact that he keeps on coming back no matter what is absolutely insane. But if even more stuff does happen in the Jupiterverse, I will be sure to cover it, whether it be like a month or two or even three from now. If more stuff does happen, expect me to cover it, especially with how many of you who were asking me to recover or continue covering Jupiter. Now, if any of you have any video recommendations, feel free to ask me in the comments below or even go as far to DM me on Instagram or even Twitter. Either way, your message will most likely get reached to me and I will read it and see if it's worth covering or talking about. All of those links will be in the description below like they are in every single video. But without further ado, thank you all for watching today's video. Depending on the time of day that you are watching this, I hope you have a great day or night. Thank you all for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.